How many of you guys heard about point and shoot? Point and shoot cameras. Point and shoot cameras are really, really famous for uh, a lot of people that like to do uh, vlogging video on YouTube. I think I probably should say video vlogging. Uh, but anyway, so, um, you know, I see a lot of videos on YouTube of people reviewing these cameras, point and shoot cameras, uh, with a flip up or flip out uh, LCD screens. And they call it, you know, the best video vlogging camera for YouTube or whatever. Uh, you know, a lot of you guys will probably say, what will you use an actual camera if uh, the phones right now offers uh, up to uh, 1080p and even on the Samsung we have a uh, 2K uh, video recording with the uh, front-facing camera. But you know what, now, now I kind of get it. I get it now why people are using these cameras and now the cell phones are. Even though the uh, front-facing camera on a cell phone can give you a really good quality, uh, it doesn't blur the background. So it focus on the subject, it doesn't do that. With the front-facing camera, you cannot do that. Uh, you can do it with the rear camera of your phone. However, if you do it with the rear camera and you're in front of the phone, you don't see yourself. So that's why people like using the camera. So the quality on the video, it's gonna be really, really good. You, the camera is focusing on you, speaking in front of the camera, doing your video vloggings and all that. Uh, so today, guys, I want to share with you this uh, quick unboxing. This is not going to be a full review. I'm going to do a review later. But at least we're going to take a first look at unboxing of this uh, really, really, really good camera uh, for video vlogging. Uh, this is the uh, Sony CyberShot, and the name is a little complicated, uh, DSC-HX90V. Let's go ahead and unbox it right now. All right, guys, so looking at the box first, uh, we see a couple of pictures there of the uh, camera, the model, brand name Sony. Uh, right here, we see some of the uh, information, some of the specs. Same thing right here. And then right here on this other side, they share more information. I think it's time now to open the box. One thing I can tell you guys is that this thing has like a four and a half stars rating pretty much on every website on the internet. Uh, there are some reviews on YouTube, not too many, and everybody says really, really good things about the camera. So I'm gonna skip looking at all of these. Uh, we don't care about this for right now. Uh, what's included here, it's uh, the uh, this uh, hand strap. USB cable to charge the battery and then here's the uh, connector you're gonna connect the USB cable here and then you're gonna connect this to the wall to charge the camera pretty much like if you're using a cell phone as a matter of fact I don't think it's recommended but you can probably connect your uh, USB cable from your phone to charge the camera so here's a look at the camera as you guys can see really really portable very very solid it's a uh, encasing a metal body uh, it feels really re if it feels kind of heavy not heavy in a bad way but heavy in a good way meaning that it's a really good construction really good material uh, so we see the says uh, logo right here that's for the uh, electronic electro I believe it's electronic viewfinder that we have right here on one of the sides right there there's a viewfinder so uh and there's a camera on and uh, for those of you guys that don't know what the viewfinder is basically if it's too bright outside and uh, you cannot look at the lcd screen where taking pictures you can look through the uh, viewfinder not a lot of cameras this size include that so that's really nice that they included that uh, let's go ahead and take a look here and see what else we have uh right here you can adjust the zoom manually but you can also do it right here and right here on the top we get access to flash uh, as you guys can see the flash uh, pops out uh, it's small flash but it does the job and then uh, right here we see all these uh, dials to control different options it has so many different uh, uh, options uh, when it comes to adjusting what you want and so right here is the uh, on and off switch uh, this is the uh, shutter and right here is the zoom optical zoom 
Uh, right here on the back, we see the uh, three inch LCD screen. I believe this is a 1080p LCD screen. I believe it's a 921,000 dots. So I think that's equal at least to 720p display. So it looks really nice. We're gonna take a look at that. Uh, there is a nice uh, soft uh, grip right here to uh, hold the camera with your thumb. And there is a small grip right here to hold it. So it's kind of like small. You have to be really careful. Put the uh, hand strap around your hand to make sure that when you're holding it, it doesn't uh, fall or anything. Uh, right here we get access to the uh, mi micro USB port to charge the camera. And then right here on the bottom we see access to uh, micro HDMI. Uh, this is to mount the camera on a tripod. And here's the access to the battery and micro SD card, which I already have a micro SD card there and the battery. Uh, other than that, uh, let's go ahead and turn this on. And I wanna give you guys uh, in more detail some of the specs. But take a look at how the lens looks like when you turn it on. And take a look at how far it goes when you're zooming in. That's a 30X, 30X optical zoom, my friends. So that's a lot of zoom and optical, which is not gonna lose quality. And like I said, you can move this uh, around here uh, to adjust the zoom uh, manually, but you can also do it here. Uh, so uh, yeah, let's uh, talk about the specs. Okay, so what are the specs on this uh, little guy here? And actually little guy, but very powerful, 18.2 uh, megapixel. Uh, we have also 30x optical uh, zoom and 4x digital for a total of 120x zoom. That's a lot, a lot for this uh, little camera. Now the other thing that I told you guys before is the uh, three inch LCD display that we have on the uh, back of the camera. And the cool thing about this is that, you know, it moves 180 degree. So we can go ahead and open this right here and move it as you guys can see. So really, really convenient. Like I said before the beginning of the video, if you wanna film yourself, but you want that super nice focus, you know, when it's focusing on yourself and the background is kind of like blurry, the, the subject pops in the video. Uh, this is really good. You can see yourself on the screen, uh, but you're still in front of the camera. Now, like I said before, the resolution on the screen, it's a 921,600 dot resolution. So what else can we say about this uh, little guy? A lot of things, but like I said before, I just wanted to do today an unboxing and quick look. Uh, but this guy offers a NFC, as you guys can see right there. You can basically pair this with your phone and also built-in Wi-Fi and GPS. Uh, so you can transfer pictures from the camera to your phone there's also an app that you can download from the Android store uh, in order to uh, use your phone as a remote control to take pictures and activate uh, the camera. I just wanna walk you guys uh, quick here through some of the menus and the controls that we have on the So everything is really easy to use here, but it's it's gonna take some time also to learn all the different options. But just, just show you guys uh, in general what's available here. Uh, this is the uh, uh, shutter right here. It takes uh, the pictures really quick. Here's the uh, record button for movies. And there is a recording right there. I can go ahead and zoom in if I want to. So really, really nice. Uh, it records in a uh, MP4, which is uh, really good. You can record in up to uh, 1080p at 60 frames per second. That's actually really nice. Uh, right here, uh, we see the menu. And it gives you so many different options. Uh, you can adjust the uh, brightness of the uh, monitor, as you guys can see right there. It can get really, really bright, or you can dim it down to save a uh, battery. Uh, there's the uh, viewfinder option, volume settings, audio signal. If you go to number two, there are more options here. We go to number three, there are more options, and we're still under the uh, first option if i go up all the way go to number one and up now we're looking at this one here 
there's a monitor brightness go back there are options right here options right here right here right here so like i said i don't want to get into too many things we click on menu and it takes you back to the screen there's also some really nice uh, information displayed on the screen uh, if you press right here uh, this is also going to give you options and uh, if we press right here play this is going to show me the uh, last picture or video taken and there are some pictures that I was taking before some videos too so really really good camera uh, also right here on the top you can go ahead and change a uh, different option options and as we change it as you guys can see it tells you right there what what uh, each option is about so really really nice uh, the, the best one probably it's either uh, aperture priority program auto or superior auto uh, basically the camera is gonna uh, do the best of everything for you so you don't have to change more Uh, there you have it that was an unboxing and quick look here at the uh, sony cyber shot dsc hx90d kind of like a complicated name a uh, price on this uh, little guy right now it's our uh, 429 dollars really really good camera uh so with that i want to thank you guys for watching give me your thoughts on your comments uh stay tuned i'll be doing a full review on the camera providing also some uh, pictures and video samples so see you later guys uh, cheer